In this video, we're going to show you how to get started using lens distortions. So let's jump right in. We're going to open up After Effects. Lens Distortions is compatible with After Effects CS3 through CS6. And we're just going to open up a project. Okay, so here's a project we've been working on. As you can see, we have all of our shots. And we're going to add a lens distortion to this shot. To do that, we go to File, then Import. And here's our 4K lens distortions collection. The lens distortions are divided into two folders. One has all the ProRes files, and one has all the templates. To find the lens distortion we want to use for this shot, we're going to open the Footage folder and browse around. We'll spacebar to preview. So here's a distortion. Here's another one. That's a good potential for this shot. This one's cool. Let's go with this one. Okay, to use this lens distortion, we'll go back and go into the templates folder. And we're going to select distortion number four. And here's our lens distortion right here. We'll open this up and drag the lens distortion onto our show. All right, there you can see it's uh, on our show. To turn on the lens distortion, all you have to do is click the Collapse Transformations button. And as you can see, it's distorting the image. From here, we're going to scale down and rotate the distortion. So we'll open this up, go to Transform, and we'll scale it down a bit. Maybe we'll rotate it over like this. And we'll drag the distortion down here, maybe. And maybe we'll scale it back up. The nice thing about using the 4K collection in a 1080p show is you have a lot of room to scale. So for example, right now the scale is only at 96%, but it's much bigger. So that's it for importing a lens distortion into your project. We've got a bunch of other videos that we're releasing, so check them out.